The year was 1946. An Italian named Roberto had just joined the monastery. Whenever he joined the monastery, he was allowed to keep one item. One item that would remind him of the sinful existence that he once lived. It would be put away and kept in storage. This is the tale, O oh hymns, he are. <laughs> Twenty years later, he left, got married, and had four glorious children. Times grew hard, and money grew scarce. He was out of a job. Louis Vuitton, with your mother. His brother Juan played in the flamenco band. Knowing that Roberto was a talented guitarist, he offered him a position in the band. Roberto jumped at the opportunity and went to find his guitar. You're sitting on Is your bed made? Is your sweater on? Do you want to fall? Like no I do Like no I do He searched for five days but could not find it. When at last he remembered the only place it could have been. 25 years ago, his guitar was the one I had to be chose to save. He bounded down the street to Sicily, past the old mill, across the olive groves and through the vineyards. Until finally reaching the monastery. Gingerly, he approached the steps he had once walked down 25 years ago. He knocked on the door and the familiar face of Brother Louis, the monastery caretaker, was there to greet him. He aided him in retrieving the forgotten guitar. Is your bed made? Is your sweater on? Do you want time? Like no I do. Like no I do. Guitar in hand, he fashioned a capo out of some old loincloths. He was able to play just as well as he had been able to 25 years ago. Fully practiced, he was ready to join Juan's flamenco band. They toured Italy, headlined the Coliseum every Christmas at the annual fest. They developed quite a good reputation until finally they reached the peak of their musical career. They were asked to play for the Pope in the Vatican. They played all the hits, Where oh, Where Is My Olive Branch, Ragu, 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 and of course, the Pope's personal favorite hit, When They Are, Dan Pio Day. The gig was in full swing. The flamenco dancers were dancing. The guitars were playing, and the castanets were, well, they were castanetting. Until suddenly, Juan noticed from the corner of his eye a lone gunman. Juan screamed at the top of his girly voice. Ay ay ay! Signor a lone gunman! Ay ay ay! As the gunman went to take a shot at the Pope, Roberto, holding his guitar by the neck, slung it out in front of him to save the Pope's life. Roberto had sacrificed his guitar, which is an essential piece of equipment for any musician who predominantly plays the guitar. This day, the bullet hole can still be seen, though it has been patched up. And more importantly to this day, it has never been discovered how the bullet did not pass straight through the guitar and plunge into the pontificate's chest cavity. The end.
chickens! Animals, their names, animals, their names. And if the child's a fool, your reputation's a stain. Celebrate this battle, they never make.